gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome into Arthur E. Staff Gymnasium for tonight's big three divisional action between the Hilltoppers of Durfee High School and your Brockton Boxers. As always, I'm Matt Dog, Matt Nelson. Join alongside my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson. Miles, Brockton faced New Bedford on Tuesday. They're rounding out the week here at against Durfee. Yeah, real, real big week for the boys as well as the girls. Now we got the Lady Boxers going up against a strong Durfee team. I, I look for a good game, but it looks like um, the boxes might have a little bit of a, a height advantage if I see who comes out. No, they're coming out with a small team. So this is the first time I've seen the Lady Boxes, Matt, so I'm very interested to see what they can do out here on the basketball court. Brockton going with Brianna Santos and Jade Went for size and outside shooting prowess, Michaela Robinson, Jelani Jackson. And the freshman, Alexander Gennaros, who has the ball now off the tip. Gennaros for Wint. Back to Gennaros to Jackson for a long three is no good. Wint getting the rebound. It's going to be ruled a jump ball a short 12 seconds into this game. Yeah, it's Jackson not, not afraid to go ahead and shoot that long, I believe it was a three. Number 12 for the Hilltoppers called for the travel, that was Katera James. Interesting names on this Durfee roster. Robinson to Gennaros, back to Robinson. To Jelani Jackson. Brockton is wearing new Nike uniforms tonight. The lady box is looking real sharp. Wearing their home whites, black stripes down the side, red trim around Black lettering. Durfee, on the other hand, away reds. Those also look like New Jerseys with white and black trim. Durfee strikes first, two to nothing on a short jumper. Yeah, that was uh, a junior, Katero James. Robinson for three, no good. And Durfee looking to extend the two point lead. Three, no good. Came up short, number 12. Katera James on that attempt. Out of bounds off of Durfee. Brockton takes over. Jackson to Robinson to Gennaros. Gennaros pump fake. Flings it in for Jade Wintz. Went off the glass, fouled on her way up, and she will be at the line for two shots. Yeah, nice job by Wint going to the basket. Used her left hand, just a little bit too strong off the backboard, but nice move. Jade Wint at the charity stripe. This is her first attempt. One or two at the line, Brockton on the board, two to one the score. Durfee on top. Tara James stopping and popping, has it blocked by Jelani Jackson. Out of bounds, Durfee with 20 seconds left on the shot clock. James off the inbound, short two off the backboard, no good on the putback attempt. By number 35 is good. That was Shaylin Carrero. Yeah, Carrero, nice movement by Carrero when she didn't have the basketball. Went to the, went to the basket when she saw the ball in the air. It was in the perfect spot and got the easy two. Couple of steals, one by either side and Brockton with an errant pass going out of bounds off of Durfee. Thought it went off Brockton but ruled a deflection. Jelani Jackson to Alexandra Gennaros. Driving inside, puts it up. Easily blocked by Carrero. And now number one is in alone, laying it off the glass. No good. Carrero on the rebound. Loose ball, and Gennaros comes up with it for the boxers. Brockton still looking for the first field goal of this game, and it comes 
from Alexander Gennaros down low, off the glass and in. Yeah, nice transition right there by the boxes. Get it up quickly and get the easy two. Over to Isabel McDonald. McDonald in. Now number 11 driving, no good. Santos comes up with the rebound for Brockton, can't hold on to it. McDonald comes up with it. Out to James, her three, no good. James showing a lot of confidence from beyond the arc, has hit one of four attempts, and she comes up with a steal right there. Ooh, that was a nice move by the Brockton guard there. But she didn't make the good pass. James now on the line for two is good. You know, and that doesn't surprise me because the coach was in, uh, encouraging her to shoot that outside shot. She made the first, um, that was first of three. So you know she can um, hit those outside shots. Can be she very dangerous. Went down low, gets her own rebound, puts it up off the glass. And rather that was Brianna Santos on the offensive board. Yeah, that was a nice job by Santos. After she got the rebound, she twisted her body to, to get that ball back up in the basket. Nice move. Four Hilltoppers outside the arc. Katera James with a three, no good. Gennaros with an uncontested rebound. Gennaros driving inside, puts up a wild shot. Was called for the offensive foul. You know, I, I, I like Gennaro's, the way she brings the ball down. She has good ball handling skills to bring that ball down the, um, the court. Like you said, just a little bit out of control on that particular play. Good shooting prowess for Alexandra Gennaro's too. She, yeah. as a freshman, owns the single game scoring record for the Brockton Boxers. Oh, I, I can see her shining as uh, she increased the years here at uh, Brockton High. Jackson for three is good, nothing but net. Yeah, very smooth. Jackson comes down with the ball and just smoothly hits that three at the top of the key. And Brockton with their first lead of the game. Katera James trying to say anything you can do, I can do better. Doesn't convert, now a long two air ball. And Michaela Robinson stepped out of bounds, trying to fling the rebound off of one of the Hilltoppers. Yeah, nice job by Robinson. She went up sky high for that rebound. Career all the way across to Katera James. James, a one-handed hook, no good. Brianna Santos swallows the ball out of bounds. Long inbound all the way across to number 14. Her three, no good. And Alicia Fernandez with that rebound. She quickly gives it to Jelani Jackson. Robinson with a floater was fouled by Shaylin Carrero. Yeah, Box is not wasting any time getting the basketball down the court to get the best shot possible before that defense sets up. Robinson missing her first attempt. Brockton with their first lead of the game, eight to six off of that three by Jelani Jackson. Robinson good on her second attempt. Katera James coming out of the game in favor of Isabel McDonald. Brockton up by three, nine to six the score in this big three divisional matchup. Jackson coming up with the steal. Michaela Robinson in a scrum to Brianna Santos. And Alicia Fernandez comes up with the loose ball around the world and in. Yeah, great hustle by the boxes. There were lady boxes all on the floor going after that ball, along with a couple of hilltoppers. But nice, nice effort for, by the lady boxes. You'll see right here as they go, they go down low on the floor for that. And number 33 for the boxes. Good second and third effort there by yeah. Brianna Santos to tap that loose ball over to Fernandez. Yeah, nice job by Fernandez using her left hand. Come on, Shavid, you gotta look. 
Fernandez over to Abby Callahan, who turns the ball over to Alexandra Gennaros. Gennaros stopping, giving it to Jackson, to Robinson for three, no good. Number 15 coming out of the game, Abby Callahan, along with number 11, and I apologize in advance for the butcher job I'm gonna do on the pronunciation, Anoush Alamian. Wow, that's a spoonful. A three by McDonald, no good. Fernandez coming up with the rebound. Jelani Jackson, a minute and a half left in the first quarter. Gennaros for three is no good. Brianna Santos called for the push. Big straight, take it out. All Catholic can take it out. We'll have the first look of the night at freshman Elizabeth Williams. She replaces Gennaros. Who gets a well-deserved rest. Brianna Santos all the way in, flying in, counted in, one for Brianna Santos, who was taken down midair. Yeah, you could see she was determined to go to the hoop on that one, controlled her body without making the charge. Nice job by Santos. Chance for a three-point play right here. The senior center of the Brockton Boxers, also co-captain of this team with Jelani Jackson. Take a look at the replay. Brianna Santos, coast to coast and midair was taken down. 15 to six the score, Brockton on top after not scoring a field goal for the first half of this first quarter. Number 14 with it now, this is Catherine Callahan. Trying to get it to McDonald, who keeps it in bounds, but the loose ball picked up by Isabel, uh, Elizabeth McDonald and Alicia Fernandez off the glass and in. What a beautiful pass by McDonald. And she led the feed. 10 seconds to go, shot clock is off. Jelani Jackson to Michaela Robinson, to Elizabeth Williams, who hands it off to Jackson from way downtown off the rim, no good. Buzzer sounds, the first quarter is over. Brockton with a nine point edge, 17 to eight miles. Brockton turned it on really in the last four minutes of that first quarter. Exactly, they're a little bit slow coming out of the gate, but they warmed up out there and did a nice job. Problem with Durfee though, Durfee wants to take too many outside shots. They need to work it in a little bit more. They got the, the big girl there, the captain, um, Carreno. Carreno, that it, yeah. Um, they should feed her a little bit more uh, because the outside shot really isn't working for the uh, Durfee Hilltoppers, but Brockton Lady Brocks is really, like you said, they've really come on these last four minutes of that first quarter. Talking about Big guys in the paint, Brianna Santos with an A-plus effort so far. Yeah, Santos doing a nice job. I believe that was Santos. I don't know where I got McDonald, but it was a beautiful pass on that last basket by the um, boxes. Nice, fed right into the middle, and the big, big, uh, the big lady boxer put it right up and in. Brockton coming off a 57 to 44 victory against the other team in the big three, the New Bedford Whalers. So this game with a lot of playoff implications for Brockton. Of course, they will see each of those teams one more time this season. However, should the boxers be 2-0, they'll have a very big advantage going into the MIAA tournament. Yeah, I believe we're about the halfway point of the basketball season. Look 
Shailen Carrero for three, no good. Tapped out of bounds good. <coughs> by Brocken. Cavs, little shape, take it out, Cavs. Get out of the corner. Isabel McDonald playing it good. to number 13, Swallow Reagan McDonald. Katera Break. James, cross to number five who is not on our roster. Jelani Jackson comes up with the steal. To Alex Gennaros to Robinson, back to Gennaros to Jackson. Wide open three is no good. Good ball movement by the Lady Boxers. Jackson just couldn't hit that big shot right there. McDonald with it. Her air ball goes right into the awaiting arms of Michaela Robinson. Gennaros now to Jade Wint, who's called for the travel. Yeah, beautiful pass by Gennaro. And Anoush Alamon back into the game for the Hilltoppers. Katerra James across to Isabel McDonald. McDonald to Anoush, her three off the glass and in. Rather, wow. that was a two. That was pretty. High off the glass and in. 17-10, boxes with the advantage. Michaela Robinson throws up a shot that was tipped. Swing it. Swing it. Number five with a three, easily blocked by Michaela Robinson, who was fouled. Good call right there as uh, Lady Boxer was uh, hammered. Good steal by the Boxers. Jelani Jackson to Alex Gennaros. Her three is no good. Jump ball called. Brockton will retain possession. Good effort there by both uh, Annalisa Fernandez and Jelani Jackson. Yeah, great effort. There's a big size mismatch. Number five is guarding Jelani, uh, Jade Went rather. Jade Went, one of the tallest members of the Brockton Boxers. Gennaro's driving baseline, kicks it out to Jelani Jackson, her three no good. Katera James coming down with the rebound for the Hilltoppers. Now McDonald driving baseline. Tried to fling it up and knocked out of play by the Brockton Boxers. Brianna Santos back in the game, along with number 15 of the Hilltoppers, Abby Callahan. Yeah, nice defensive job right there. It was swatted back as the Lady Hilltopper tried to go up with it. James, quick three off the inbound, no good. Shailen Carrero on the putback. Floater is good, 17-12, Boxers. Yeah, nice job by the captain of uh, the Hilltoppers. Just wiggled her way up there, got the rebound and somehow wiggled her way underneath. Fernandez down low, this one kept in and now a noose for the Hilltoppers back the other way. <laughs> Offensive foul against Shailen Carrero. Called for the hit. Jade went to inbound to Jelani Jackson. Jackson to Gennaros. Thought about the three. Instead gives it to Fernandez. Driving down low off the glass. Couple bounces off the rim. No good. Carrero comes down with it for the Hilltoppers. Jalen Carrero fouled as her shot went in and out. Brianna Santos called for the push. Yeah, nice job by Carreros to somehow get that shot off with um, a body on her. Smart play by the Lady Hilltopper captain. And Michaela Robinson will replace Brianna Santos, who now has two fouls against her. Carrero, one of two at the line, 17-13, boxer's advantage. Gennaro's driving inside, flings it out to Robinson, to Jackson, top of the key. 
Puts up a one-handed wild shot. Follows her shot. And got her own rebound, but committing it over the back. Good effort there by Jelani Jackson. Isabel McDonald Get now inside. over to Katera James. James Get loses inside. it trying to go between her legs. Stops and flings it over to McDonald. Back to James. Back to McDonald. Over to McDonald. Off the glass and in for a long two. Nice job there. Durfee using the 30 second clock and working the ball around the uh, horn until somebody was open. Robinson in for Fernandez, back to Robinson to Gennaros. Gennaros stopping, popping off the glass and in as she wow. was. That was a pretty move by Gennaros. Excellent ball handler. 19-15 the score halfway through the second quarter. A three by McDonald is no good. Or rather that was Abby Callahan. And it bounced up in hit the support, so it's out of bounds. Gennaros to Fernandez, to Robinson, to Jackson, who thought about the quick three, instead holds on, trying to create some space. And Alexander Gennaros committed a travel, and she knew it immediately. Yeah, she knew it. Reagan McDonald, the big center. In for Katera James. Anoush at the top of the key over to Callahan. Callahan flinging it in for Carrero. No good. Gennaro's coming down with the rebound. Three and a half left. Fernandez at the other end. Shot goes off the bottom of the backboard. Wow, that was a beautiful pass by Gennaro. Brockton couldn't just couldn't finish it off. Scrum on the floor between Shaylin Carrero and Alex Gennaros and Durfee will retain possession. Elizabeth Williams back in the game. She will replace Jade Wint. Quick three is good by number 13, Reagan McDonald, and Durfee calling a quick timeout, 19 to 15 the score. Miles Brockton has kind of been a little bit lax on defense the last couple minutes. Yeah, Durfee's really done a good job on the offensive side, worked the ball around and found the open man and, and made some good shots out there. And where the box has um, come down in the last few minutes, Durfee's played some tough defense, but um, Somehow, Hilltoppers have uh, creeped back up in here, only down by two points with uh, 306 left in this uh, second quarter. Well, the Lady Boxers' next game is right here at Staff Gymnasium on Tuesday night against Hanover High School. No team we normally see. The Brockton boys basketball team will be here at Staff Gymnasium on Monday night, Martin Luther King Day, for a charity game against Holbrook with all the proceeds going to Cops for Kids. We'll be here for that one on Brockton Community Access Sports, a tag team effort with HCAM, Holbrook Community Access Media. Gennaro's driving inside. Williams comes up with a loose ball. Jelani Jackson now driving in the paint. Kicks it out to Gennaro's for three. Comes up short and finds its way out of bounds. McDonald back in for James. Callahan to McDonald. McDonald. Over for, uh, down low rather for Anoush who puts it up and in. Nice job there, fool, fool the uh, Brockton defense. A little sneaky pass underneath inside the paint for an easy two. Jade Wint getting ready to come back in the game. Gennaro's bouncing it over to Jelani Jackson. 
Jackson looking for Robinson, doesn't connect out of bounds. Durfee takes over. Yeah, Durfee, again, playing good defense. Very good defense this last three or four minutes. Elizabeth Williams, what looks like a quick breather on the bench. The noose down low off the glass and in. And that was almost the same play early on. And um, coach is going to call a timeout for the Lady Boxers. 207 left, and Durfee has a two point lead. 21 to 19. Durfee on top of Brockton now. With about two minutes left in the first half. Miles, Durfee has capitalized on what has been a lax. Brockton defense in the last couple of minutes. Yeah, they've capitalized on Brockton's defense and they've also tightened down on their defensive side and um, where Brockton's had some trouble scoring some points lately in this uh, second quarter. 21-19, Durfee on top. Not a lot of fouls thus far in this game. Six on Durfee, four on the boxers. Brockton with the basketball. Kayla Robinson in for Jelani Jackson. Jackson to Gennaros, Gennaros to Michaela Robinson, back to Gennaros. Across for Jelani Jackson. Jade Wint. Bouncing it in for Fernandez, back to Wint. Intercepted by Anoush. McDonald back to Anoush, has it swatted by Jade Wint. And a foul committed by one of the three Brockton boxes that were trying to rip that ball away from Anoush Alamon. Yeah, Brockton's gotta do a better job when they get that ball and get ready to go back down the court. They gotta do a better job of protecting that basketball from the uh, Durfee defense. Cause they, they're going after that basketball. Very aggressive defense by the Lady Hilltoppers. Anoush with it, looking in for Shaylin Carrero. Can't handle the pass. Michaela Robinson comes away with the loose ball, a minute and a half to go. Yeah, nice alert defensive play right there by Robinson. Fernandez getting the offensive board. Tipping it out of bounds. Again, Durfee takes over. Brockton needs to step it up on defense in the last minute and 18 of this second quarter. Isabel McDonald driving baseline, stops, gives it out to Anoush. Anoush top of the key back to McDonald, can't hold on to the pass, out of bounds. Yeah, break right there for the Lady Boxers with the minute, eight seconds left in this second quarter. Brockton needs to get a basket here just to get their momentum back. Robinson out for Gennaros. Gennaros driving inside. Foul called against Durfee. A push called against number 25 of the Hilltoppers. That is Jamila Foster. Yeah, nice job by Gennaros. Decide to go to the basket, take matters in her own hand, and get a foul drawn. She's a good free throw shooter. She makes her first free throw attempt, but nice job there to take action on the offensive end by Gennaros. Two of two at the line is Alex Gennaros. Tie game 21 to 21. Under a minute to go here in the first half. Abby Callahan working against Jelani Jackson, Isabel McDonald now. Loose ball, trying to be tipped away by Michaela Robinson. I don't know if that ball crossed the center court line, but a backcourt violation called against the Hilltoppers. Yeah, I tell you, that was great defense by Robinson. Brockton coming up with a break there. Jade went down low, puts up a wild shot, tipping the rebound loose, and now a scrum on the floor, jump ball. Brockton will have a fresh chance to set up the offense. Yeah, good aggressive uh, defense there by the uh, boxes. Jade went right in there along with Gennaros. 
Jackson down to Gennaros for a long two is good. Wow. Pretty shot there by the freshman. But a lady boxes, get some back up on top. Shot clock is off, 23-21 boxers. Abby Callahan to Katera James. James to Callahan to Anoush. Looking hard inside for McDonald, out of bounds off of Brockton. And Alicia Fernandez getting in the passing lane there. Yeah, Brockton playing some real tough defense now. They're not making it easy for the Lady Hilltoppers. Anoush with a last second floater, no good. Offensive board and last second shot goes wide. Buzzer sounds and it is halftime. Brockton coming away with a two point edge, 23, 21 miles. Brockton started off weak, then had a very good eight minutes and then they finished off a little bit lax on defense and Durfee caught up. Yep, Durfee caught up. Um, I'm sure the coach for uh, the Lady Boxers will inform them you gotta go out there and play the full quarter. They got two more quarters left. They have to play the full two quarters because this Durfee team is good enough to overtake them and sneak out of here with the win. So boxers just have to play play their play their game and they should um, be able to come out of here with some type of win. 23-21, Brockton on top of big three divisional rival Durfee at halftime. We're gonna step aside and take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. <laughs> Look at you. You're at the top of your game. You're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. That will throw you off track. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Arthur E. Staff Gymnasium for second half. Boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, we apologize for the technical difficulties, but we are back. We're back. For second half action between the Durfee Hilltoppers and your Brockton Boxers. Brockton coming in with a two point edge. Michaela Robinson looking to add to that. 23 to 21 the score. Coming into this second half, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Joined alongside my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson. Miles, we said it. Brockton started off weak, had a good couple minutes and then kind of tailed off. Yeah, right now it's, it's becoming a real battle here in the uh, third quarter, starting off to a real fast pace. Boxers have to stay focused because this is a tough, derfy team. A three by Abby Callahan, no good, out of bounds off of Brockton. Rather a foul committed from Katera James on the rebound attempt. James hit on her first attempt. Two of two and we're back tied up 23 to 23. Michaela Robinson over to Jelani Jackson. Jackson to Santos, pump fake over to Robinson. Robinson to Jade Wint. Went to Jackson. A lot of outside ball movement for the boxers to Santos to Gennaros. Five on the shot clock, Gennaros driving inside. Fouled. Could have been called a travel. Yeah, nice job by, ne by Gennaro's, knowing that it was only five seconds on the shot clock when you called it. So she decided to take matters in her own hand and 
own hands, went to the basket and drew a foul. Gennaro now three of three at the free throw line tonight. She looks very comfortable at the free throw line too. Can the owner of the Brockton Boxers single game scoring record, which she set in her first game as a Brockton Boxer. Nice job by Santos to get that rebound. For three, Gennaros is good. She saw it all the way. And because of the effort of Santos to grab the rebound off the uh, missed free throw, and Brockton took advantage with Gennaro's uh, long three. Brianna Santos clogging up the passing lane. Jump ball called. It will be a Durfee ball. Excellent effort there by Brianna Santos. Katerik James from the charity stripe, no good. Johnny Jackson getting up and getting the rebound to Alex Gennaros. Gennaros Ooh, down low nice for pass. wins off the glass and in. Beautiful pass. And the key to that play, Miles, was that Jade Wint did not take the extra time to bounce the basketball. She went right up and put it off the glass and in. Nice ball movement. Great transition on that particular play for the boxes. They were re rewarded with a two points. Gennaros from the east side of Brockton, no good. <laughs> Out of bounds, and Durfee going to call a timeout down six, 29-23. Miles Brockton came out with a bang in the second half. Yeah, so far so good. They're hustling, they're concentrating, they're hitting their shots, and they're playing tough defense on Durfee. Alex Gennaro's having a pretty decent game. Four four at the charity stripe, already with a couple of big shots. Well, I'll tell you, one of her biggest one of the biggest crowd pleasers, and you got a lot of response when she made that nice backdoor pass to her teammate. She laid it up and in. Nice reaction from the crowd. Still a lot of time in this third quarter, 538. So Brockton has to concentrate, stay focused. They definitely came out focused in this uh, second half, uh, Matt. Anoush Alamon to put this one in play. She gets it to Abby Callahan. Katerik James thought about the three. Instead gets it to Shaylin Carrero. Carrero to Callahan, back to Carrero off the rim, no good. And fouled on the putback attempt. Nice passing by the Lady Hilltoppers. So the Hilltoppers captain will go to the free throw line. Just kind of rushed that shot right there. One of two at the line was Carrero, 29-24 the score. Brockton up by five, Alex Gennaro's looking to add to that. Gennaro's to Robinson for three, no good. Go! You got a rebound, kid! It's in your hand! Michaela Robinson, cold from beyond the arc tonight. And again, Santos in the right spot. She camps out underneath that basket when the ball is uh, shot up and she was rewarded. Good hustle to get that offensive uh, rebound and went right back up and got fouled. Missing Santos, is, excuse me, Santos is one of those players. She understands her role as, as a big man underneath. Her job is to take advantage. You might see it here on the replay. Shot by Robinson and look at Santos goes in there strong and st actually steals the ball. Great reflex and just stole the ball out of Durfee uh, Hilltopper's hand. Fouled on the putback attempt. One of two at the line, 30 to 24, the score Brockton on top. Shailen Carrero with a short jumper, no good. 
Hilltop has missed a golden opportunity right there because that was a nice pass inside. Brianna Santos finds an open lane. Her shot off the back of the rim. Four and a half to go in the third quarter. Brockton up 30 to 24 over big three divisional rival, the Durfee Hilltoppers. Shailen Carrero inside off the glass. No good, Brianna Santos tapping the rebound and soft foul called on Brianna Santos. I said Carrero, the junior captain, she's real tough when she gets that basketball. She knows what to do with it, how to draw fouls. It's very strong. Anoush can't control the pass. Alex Gennaro's on the floor, called for the travel. Yeah, Gennaro, should, once she stole it, she should have looked for somebody to pass it. Don't want to try and get up and dribble it yourself. There's a good chance you might travel, which it happened. Good hustle, just not a good outcome. Anoush over to Callahan. Callahan to McDonald. McDonald back to Callahan. Callahan with a wild floater, completely airballs it. Tapped over to McDonald, short two, no good. A jump ball call. Wow, that, that should have been over, over the, the back. back. Yes, over the back. Oh, the referees missed that one. Yeah, even Miss Ethel said in the, in the NBA, it's a foul. If they're gonna call something in the NBA, <laughs> They should call it in high school. Yeah. Here, let's see the replay here. Good hustle by the Lady Boxes. And right there. Yeah, it's over the back. Clear cut. Yeah, a lot of body. So 30 to 24, Brockton on top of Durfee. Brockton trying to make it a clean 2-0 in the big three division. Six and four on the, uh, six and three rather on the season. Brockton coming in with a two game winning streak. Busy week next week here at Staff Gymnasium. Of course tomorrow we will be across campus at AZF Arena. I gotta get that one back with you. I gotta get that, that's way too fast. I'm literally kneeling down and the horn's going. Guys, we gotta get that one back. The Waltham Hawks. Come to AZF to face the Brockton Boxers in short game of hockey. Durfee's, Durfee wants that timeout back. They said the horn blew too, too, too quick. quick. Yeah. And they shouldn't be penalized by losing that timeout. And a very lengthy discussion going on between the head coach of Durfee, Brendan Kelly, and the officials who have made a, a couple of questionable calls tonight. Does not look like Durfee's gonna get that timeout back. No. But the refs came over to the scorer's table and said, listen, get it together, guys. This is not a hobby. <laughs> a couple of offensive boards, and Jade Went bringing down the latest Alex Gennaros with it. Gennaros long up for Robinson, oh, too. Fernandez pretty. down low. Ah. Oh. These guys are looking like the 86 Boston Celtics. That ball barely touched the floor as it went down the court for the Lady Boxes. Out of bounds off of Brockton. Abby Callahan sending this one right into the arms of Jade Went. Fernandez coming up with the loose ball. That was a great, great defensive play because all the Lady Boxers had their hands up in the air to create something. Hilltopper's down. Shailen Carrero gets up a little bit limp. Michaela Robinson comes up with the loose ball. Jelani Jackson, short floater, no good. Follows her shot, gets her own rebound, flings it out to Michaela Robinson. See, that's what happens. Jackson. That's what happens when you follow your shot. Jade Went going down to the floor. Carrero comes up with a steal. Isabel McDonald, and she gets taken out from behind. 
no foul, out of bounds off of Brockton. See, I thought for sure they were gonna call something. Uh, out of bounds off of Durfee, so Brockton will take over. Box is starting to take control of this basketball game. Gennaro's to Fernandez. Robinson to Gennaro's. Gennaro's stutter step in for Jade Wentz. Kicked out to Jelani Jackson, 10 on the shot clock. Jelani Jackson kicking it back out to Gennaro's for three, no good. Fernandez on the offensive board off the glass and in. Excellent job by Fernandez. She got the rebound, did not put it on the floor, and just put it right up and in. Brockton up by 10, 34 to 24 the score. Anusha Alamon with it now over to Abby Callahan. Callahan long across for number 13. Her long two is no good. Reagan McDonald on the shot. She has the ball now to Callahan. Callahan for a long two off the backboard, no good. McDonald coming up with the rebound, putting it up, no good. Now Jelani Jackson has it for the boxers. Jelani Jackson all the way in, a little bit too low for Jade Wint, and out of bounds with a minute and 10 seconds left in the third quarter. Exactly, a little bit too low for the big, for the big man underneath. Great job by Jackson, though, to bring it all the way down the court, coast to coast. I thought she was gonna try to go in. Good point, good point. <laughs> Alexandra Gennaros with it. Ooh. Coast to coast off the glass, no good. Fernandez who has been the number one rebounder for the Brockton Boxers. Glad to see our A-team a tech crew down in the, um, down in the uh, van. Keeping us in line here. Jackson for a yes. long three, nothing but net. Wow, that, that was a big shot right there, Matt. Big shot with a, less than a minute to go in this third quarter. Shailen Carrero trying to force it to Katera James and Brockton comes up with a steal. Michaela Robinson in alone off the glass. No good, a little bit too much mustard on it and Robinson tipped the rebound out of bounds. Shot clock is off, 27.4 to go in the third quarter. Brockton up by 13, 37-24. Reagan McDonald to Katera James. And Michaela Robinson called for the block. Sixteen seconds to go. James to number fourteen. That is Catherine Callahan. James for three is good. Six seconds on the clock. Alex Gennaro's holding on for a last shot from way downtown it is no good. Buzzer sounds, and Brockton has a ten-point edge, thirty-seven twenty-seven, going into the fourth quarter. Yeah, I think. Brockton has the edge in the fourth quarter to run Durfee, just run them, because Brockton has the, from what I'm observed these first three quarters, Brockton has the faster team, and in, we're in the fourth quarter, everybody's a little winded, but I think Brockton has a little bit more step as far as speed that can um, take them to the promised land here in the fourth quarter. Well, as you mentioned, the A-plus tech crew, so let's run through it for you. In the truck at the helm, our fearless leader tonight, Paul Mandeville, who has made some astute observations well, about the broadcast. Well, he's like a basketball almanac when it comes to um, high school, college, and pro basketball. So he always gives us little tips, which uh, helps us out here. On instant replay, the prolific cinematographer, Aaron Tebow. The man. The man, the myth, and the legend, all in one seat. And on graphics, Anna Coots Anna's from doing Brockton ex High. Excellent job with this Brockton High team, as you're naming them. 
Up on camera we have Danny Still, both senior and junior. Rob Curry. And of course, big game Miles Jackson and myself, the Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing all the action courtside here at Staff Gymnasium. Well, I tell you, Matt, this is gonna this fourth quarter is gonna be one hectic fourth quarter as Durfee will try to get back in this ball game, so they're gonna play some really heavy D, and that means exerting more energy, which will be to Brockton's advantage. Brockton with a very deep bench. Brianna Santos back on the floor. Michaela Robinson loses it. Callahan to Callahan to James off the glass and in. And Durfee draws within eight points. Santos driving baseline, puts up a floor, was fouled on her way in. Yes, Santos has a knack when she has the ball on offense to somehow get inside. She knows her strong points, and her strong points is underneath that basket, and she takes advantage and goes right to the basket with that basketball. Santos missing her first attempt. Jamila Foster coming in for Shaylin Carrero. Santos one of two at the line, 38-29, nine point edge for the Brockton Boxers. And Santos coming up with a steal. Can't hold on to it, Anoush comes up with it. Now Katera James with a wild shot is good. Wow, good play, good setup by the Durfee Hilltoppers. Fernandez to Gennaros, Gennaros kicking it right into the awaiting hands of Katera James, James to Anoush, to Abby Callahan. Callahan should have been called for the travel, instead Brockton called for the foul, it's on Brianna Santos who was not in the area. The Lady, ref's got the number wrong. Yeah. Lady Hilltop is making a little run at it. Cut it down to seven points at the moment with 6.54. Hilltop has got to settle down and uh, just play a little bit more tighter defense as well as protect the basketball when they have it on offense. 38-31, Brockton with a seven point edge calling the timeout. Brianna Santos. I believe that is her fifth personal foul. And, and right now the Hilltoppers look like the one that has the step on uh, the boxes. Brockton came out slinging to start this second half. And Alex Gennaros, who has been the number one shooter of the Brockton boxers tonight. Having a very good night. Along with Annalicia Fernandez, who has been the top rebounder of the Brockton Boxers. So, 6.54 left to go in the fourth quarter, 38 to 31. Brockton, seven point edge. Annalicia Fernandez in the game. She replaces Brianna Santos. Durfee ball, Abby Callahan sending this one in for number 14, that is Catherine Callahan. Fernandez coming up with the block. Good defense right there by the Lady Boxes. Jackson to Wint for a three, no good. Katera James coming down with the rebound, being double teamed, and Michaela Robinson committing the foul. Yeah, Robinson a little bit too aggressive right there. And, ca and caught some body contact on the Durfee player. James to Abby Callahan to Catherine Callahan. 
Back to Abby. Over to James for three is good. Counted and one for Katera James, who is fired up. Wow, that was a big shot right there. Big, big momentum swing right here at the moment for the Lady Hilltoppers. Chance for a three-point, four-point play. And Michaela Robinson in the span of about 12 seconds has committed two fouls. Katera James getting four points. And she is fired up. Yes, and these uh, Durfee Hilltopper fans are fired up too. They're here also to cheer on their Lady Hilltoppers. Gennaro's working her way inside off the glass, no good. Offensive board and, and Alicia Fernandez can't hold on to it, out of bounds. Good drive, Gen Gennaro just couldn't finish off the basket. Callahan thought about the three, now Abby Callahan does, no good. Jade went with the rebound. Jelani Jackson. Jackson to Robinson. Robinson back to Jackson. Jackson rainbow pass for Jade Wint to Gennaros. 10 on the shot clock back to Wint. Her three is gonna be short. Fernandez coming down with the rebound and stepping out of bounds. Durfee comes away with it. One possession ball game, 38-35. Durfee slowly but surely clawing their way back into this thing. And that's what they're doing, clawing their way back, staying focused. And this young lady with the basketball has been really focused. Number 25 with a short two is good. Jamila Foster and Durfee is drawn within one. Jelani Jackson to Gennaros. Fernandez fouled by Jamila Foster. And Alicia Fernandez at the line for the first time tonight. Free throws are big right now with 4.52 on the clock here in the fourth quarter. Free throws are big. Hitting her first was Fernandez, back to a two-point lead for the Boxers. And two big free throws for Annalicia Fernandez. Yeah, definitely. 40 to 37 the score, Brockton up by three. Anoush to Abby Callahan, back to Anoush Alamon. Noosh to Catherine Callahan. Gennaros comes up with a steal. Three on one for the boxers. Gennaros fouled on the way up. You know, that was a beautiful job by Gennaros because she was, the defender on her was bigger than her. So she made sure she protected the basketball, keep it away from the defender, went up with the shot, knew she would be hit with the body and still put the shot up and a chance for a uh, two-point play here. Good on her first attempt, four-point edge for the boxers with about four and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter of this one. And two or two at the line is Gennaros. Brockton playing a man defense. Fernandez getting in the passing lane, knocking it out of bounds. Yeah, early on I believe the Lady Boxers were playing a zone, but things are getting really tight now in the fourth quarter, so they've gone man to man. James with a wild two, no good. Jade Went coming down with the rebound to Alex Gennaros, who again has been the most effective shooter Brockton has had tonight. Jelani Jackson high across for Annalicia Fernandez. Jump ball called, and it will be a Durfee basketball. Shailen Carrero back in the game. She replaces Jamila Foster. Yeah, Durfee gets their captain back in here. Last four minutes of this ball game. Anoush Alamon to Carrero. Carrero double teamed. 
Robinson gets in the passing lane and comes up with a steal. And a jump ball called, Brockton basketball. Good hustle by the Brockton defense. When, when a game is this tight, Matt, you've got to die for that basketball. You've got to go after the basketball. You can't wait for it to come to you. Alexander Daenerys in for Jelani Jackson, 42-37, Brockton five-point edge. Half a quarter left to go, Gennaro's thought about the three, instead drives inside, off the glass, finds a lane and puts it in. Pretty, that was pretty. Switched hands and laid it up and made it look easier than what it actually was. Katera James to Abby Callahan. Callahan back to James. James, who's been on fire tonight, puts up an air ball. Brianna Santos back in the game. Gets it to Jelani Jackson. Jackson all the way up for Gennaros. Gennaros finds her way into the paint, gives it to Santos down low. Her shot low, gets her own rebound, puts it up and in. Yeah, nice job by Santos to concentrate. Didn't make the first shot, but she got a rebound and put it right back up for the two. Nine point edge for the boxers. Katera James driving inside, gives it down to Anusha Alamon off the glass and in. Timeout called by Durfee with 2.45 to go. Yeah, it's going to come down to the wire here. Brockton gave themselves a little bit, a little bit of an edge of a lead. Seven points. We still got a lot of basketball to go. 46-39, a seven-point edge for the Brockton Boxers with two minutes and 45 seconds to go. We mentioned that the Brockton men's basketball team will be here at Staff Gymnasium against the Holbrook Bulldogs in a charity game Monday night. Do we know what the charity is for? Cops for Kids. Well worth charity. And then a back-to-back -back for the, or rather, the girls will be here on Tuesday going up against Hanover. And then Wednesday night, the girls play Holyoke. A way out there team. That I believe last year we beat by like 53 points. Santos down low, no good. Fernandez coming up with the rebound. Jelani Jackson brought it in clock management mode. Great hustle by the Lady Boxes. To round out next week, the Trojans from our neighbors to the South Bridgewater Raynham come to town. Carrero spin around jumper, no good. Jelani Jackson coming up with the rebound. Two minutes to go. Yeah, smart move by Jackson to slow it up a little bit. Take some time off this clock. Not a good pass by Robinson. James to Abby Callahan. Robinson comes up with a steal. And she makes up, makes up for that bad pass. Nice steal by Robinson. Jelani Jackson running around with it, wasting some time off the clock here. Michaela Robinson one-handing it to Alex Gennaros. Back to Jelani Jackson. Thought about the three, drives inside. Turns it over to Isabel McDonald. And Gennaros comes up with a steal. And is immediately fouled by Anu Shalomon. Minute and 31 left to go. Gennaros with it for Brockton to Michaela Robinson. Robinson handing it off to Jelani Jackson. Jackson for wow. two is good. That was a big, big shot right there by Jackson. Little driving jump shot. All net. 
Isabel McDonald to Abby Callahan. Callahan followed by Michaela Robinson. Yeah, Robinson plays tough defense. Little body, it wasn't foul body there, but that's what you want in a tight game, play good defense. Just control that body a little bit better. Durfee now in a one and one situation. Should Abby Callahan make her first attempt, she will get a second. Eight team fouls on the Brockton Boxers. Back in the old school days, Matt, that was not a foul. They used to play tough defense. Back in the day, you could body check it was called. There's a lot of things that were called in the olden days that are no longer called or that are called now that yeah. weren't called back then. See, that's when basketball was basketball. You just asked our Zuru, Paul Mandeville. Guru, excuse me. He's old school. Coach a little upset for uh, the Hilltoppers. Hey. Durfee. Gonna wait for 15 seconds. A very heated Brendan Kelly, who's just trying to get under the referee's skin, it looks yeah, like he's man. laughing on the bench. It looks like he's looking for a uh, tech. He's, he's working about at 15 it. 15 seconds away from running one. <laughs> There's something about summing a player, he's got 15 seconds, and he says, I know I've got 15 seconds. The ref says, okay, well, you got 15 seconds. And Coach Kelly says, well, I'm gonna wait the entire 15 seconds. He counted to 15 in his head, yeah. and then called the timeout. That is what qualifies under BCA rules as a delay of life <laughs> with a $50 fine to go to the head of production tonight, which would be Paul Mandeville. Brockton with a nine point edge, 48 to 39, with 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Brockton in very good shape to move to two and O on the year in the big three division. And Alicia Fernandez making her first. We'll get a second. Brockton now in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Big shot puts um, bo the boxes up on double figures. 49 to 39 the score. Brockton up by 10. And Fernandez, two of two at the line. Yeah. Makes it around 50 points for the boxers. Another good free throw shooter for the boxers. Takes her time up there and makes it look easy. Shea Cruz, the previously nameless number five, not on our roster, called up from JV today, misses a three. And committing the foul was Cruz. Cruz called for the push. Cruz not the biggest of all basketball players on the court. She looks like she's Maybe about 4'10". Yeah, I tell you what though, she's got some very sharp sneakers on. Fernandez counted in one off the rebound. And she'll be right back at the charity stripe trying to make the three points the old fashioned way. Boxers just playing, Lady Boxers playing heads up basketball at the free throw spot. Total breakdown of uh, the Lady Hilltopper's defense there. And that's happened throughout the game. Fernandez makes it a 14 point edge with 30 seconds to go. Shea Cruz with it now. Cruz to Anush Alamon off the glass and in. Menial at this point, but 53 to 41. 
12 point edge for the boxers, no shot clock. Brianna Santos to Jelani Jackson, no shot clock. Alex Gennaros, Brockton's just gonna hold off and waste out the clock. And the buzzer sounds 53-41, Brockton moving to 2-0 in the big three division. Yeah, um, nice job by the Lady Boxes. Um, I'm pretty impressed with them, especially with the freshman phenomenon, uh, Giov Giovanni. Um, Gennaros, excuse me. Um, she did a great job along with Santos and the rest. I'm um, just a great team effort, Mom Matt. Yeah, that, that's her job, and she knows what her job is, is to rebound. And she did an excellent job positioning herself underneath the basket to um, get those crucial rebounds and um, crucial two-pointers, um, two easy two-pointers underneath. I mean, a couple of times she missed the first shot, but hung in there and battled for that second shot. Well, head coach April Dingwell does not have a voice, but she is impressed with her team's effort. Some things to work on. They got to start off a little bit better, and then they got to keep it up for the entire game, Miles. Yeah, and, and I'm sure that'll come with time. They're a young team. They just, and I'm sure the coach will emphasize about playing all four quarters. You mentally can't let down because you can let a team back, as such as the Hilltoppers, and if you let them back too long, they could actually upset you. 53 to 41, Brockton getting the big win over big three divisional rival, the Durfee Hilltoppers, right here at Staff Gymnasium. They move to two and zero on the big three and six and three on the year. And Brockton will move on to play Hanover next week. But for everyone here at Brockton Community Access, my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.